Hello friends, myself Dr. Mayur Saita and in this video we are going to discuss about oral anti-diabetic drug. Uh, one group from to the oral anti-diabetic drug and the name of the group is DPP-4 inhibitors. What is the full form of DPP-4? That is dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors. Now first of all we need to understand uh, how this DPP-4 works. So for that we need to understand one important metabolic step. And what is that step? This GLP-1 and GIP, actually these are metabolized by the DPP-4 and they are converted into the inactive peptide. So what is the main key step into action of this drug is this GLP-1 and GIP, these peptides actually metabolized by this DPP-4 enzyme and it is converted into the inactive peptide. Now the question is, uh, what is this GLP and GIP? So I have also written the full form over here that is a GLP is glucagon like peptide which also helps into the insulin secretion and the another one is a glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide which also helps into the insulin release. Now we will understand how these DPP-4 inhibitors will help into the insulin release from to the pancreas into our next demonstration. So you must understand when these GLP-1 and GIP, they are present actually into the blood, okay fine. And they are going and reaching up to the beta cell of the pancreas. On to the beta cells, there is a one receptor is there, which name is incretin receptor. This incretin receptor is a one type of a G protein coupled receptor. This GLP, GIP, they will bind with this receptor. And this receptor will activate one enzyme. What is the name of the enzyme? adenyl cyclase now when the adenyl cyclase is activated it's a cyclase it will convert atp into the cyclic amp now what this cyclic amp will do this cyclic amp will initiate exocytosis of the insulin granules so when these insulin granules which are already present into the beta cell so what is the function of this glp and gip through the incretin receptors they will activate adenylate cyclase and adenylate cyclase now convert ATP into the cyclic AMP and this cyclic AMP will exocytose. The insulin granules are present into the beta cells. They will exocytose it and release the insulin into the blood. When the insulin is released, it will reduce the glucose, it will reduce the blood glucose. So that's how this GLP and GIP analogs are working. They are working mainly into the postprandial situation means they will work when uh, the glucose is present after eating when the blood glucose level is suddenly raised these analogs present so the drug effect also becomes more after the postprandial so after eating it helps into the reduction of to the postprandial hyperglycemia very much okay fine so now you understand how these drugs will will work so these dpp4 inhibitors will inhibit this enzyme so that this GLP and GIP will not be inactivated. The concentration of the GLP and GIP will increase. Ultimately, this GLP, GIP will release the insulin into the blood circulation. Okay, fine. Now we will discuss uh, three drugs mainly from this group. One is uh, cetagliptin, another one is the vildagliptin and the third one is the tenagliptin. Now first so of all, let's discuss the cetagliptin first. So, cetagliptin is the first DPP-4 inhibitors which was developed. It binds with that DPP-4 enzyme competitively as well as selectively. So, side effects are also reduced because it's a selective inhibitor. And the main effect as I told you earlier, it reduced the postprandial blood glucose level very effectively. Because after the meal, these GIP and GLP analogs are released much. So, their metabolism is inhibited. And that's why it will also increase the postprandial insulin release very much, decrease the glucagon. That's why also it will reduce the glucose secretion. But the major benefit of these drugs are hypoglycemia chances are very much rare by using these drugs. Yeah, and the efficacy is as good as the metformin. So you must understand if we give this or if we start the cetagliptin in the uh, patients, uh, we have reported side effects very less. Only just nausea, vomiting, sometimes loose stools that is reported. Okay, fine. And these are very well absorbed orally. So that is a very good thing. It is absorbed very well. 
एंड मोस्टली वी स्टार्ट सीटाक्लिप्टीन नॉट जस्ट अलोन वी स्टार्ट इट विथ अलोंग विद द सल्फोनाइल यूरियाज जस्ट लाइक इन विथ ग्लिमेप्राइड या फिर ग्लाइब्यूराइड अदर एंड वी स्टार्ट विद द मैट फॉर्मिन सो मोस्टली इट इज यूज एडजुअन टू अदर इट इज लिटल बिल कॉस्टली इज ऑल्सो दैर एंड इट इज वेरी मच लेस मोटाबोलाइज इन टू द यूरिन दैट्स वाई इट इज इट कैन बी यूज इन रीनल एंड एज वेल एज द हिपेटिक इम्पेयरमेंट पेशेंट्स so that's a very good thing it is excreted unchanged into the urine metabolism is very less so it is a safer in the patients of the liver as well as the kidney disease so now we will discuss the next molecule in this group that is the vildagliptin sitagliptin was a competitively blinding with to the enzyme dpp4 but vilda actually binds covalently with to the enzyme yeah so whenever anything binds covalently it is a binding strong with that dpp4 enzymes so dpp4 enzymes are actually inhibited for the longer duration than the sitagliptin so their effect is even near to 24 hours yes so the longer duration of action is there dpp4 is continuously inhibited through the vildagliptin but the main important thing that we need to remember that the dose reduction is required into the liver and the kidney disease efficacy is good but it is metabolized from to the liver so we must take a precaution while the patient is suffering from any hepatic disease okay fine and it is a less selective for dpp4 it can inhibit other dpps also okay so selective is lesser than the seta but it binds covalently so the continuous inhibition of that enzyme dpp4 enzyme actually situated into the capillary endothelium so these drugs actually inhibit those enzymes and glp gip concentration into the blood are increased and they will insulin release so now the another molecule which we need to uh, study that is the tenagliptin this tenagliptin is a newer molecule developed into the japan its efficacy is good and the duration of action is also good whenever we have developed a newer drugs actually we develop the drugs with higher efficacy and the longer duration so the compliance of the patient is improved so it's just a single morning dose of tenagliptin is enough for reducing the postprandial glucose for 3 meals right its effect is longer so 20 mg maximum we can use a 40 mg and it is excreted from to the liver as well as kidney that's why if the person is suffering from you can say liver disease or kidney diseases dose reduction is not much required it can safely used in the patients with any kidney diseases so into the diabetic patients nephropathy is also very common so in that case uh, sitagliptin as well as the tenagliptin they are good right and caution is required in case of the patient is suffering from to the any cardiac anomalies so qt prolongation has been reported in some of the patients so if the patient is suffering from any cardiac anomaly Uh, we should take the precaution otherwise in liver and kidney diseases patient tenagliptin is also very good so we can say that uh, sitagliptin which is uh, very selectively and competitively with the dpp4 vildagliptin which is uh, covalently binds with the dpp4 and insulin release is for longer duration but the hepatic metabolism is there so caution is required in case of the patient suffering from the hepatic disease tenagliptin newer molecule is there longer duration of action is there very safe unchanged it is excreted into from our body and even though uh, these molecules three molecules are very widely used nowadays some another molecules are also developed that is the saxagliptin alogliptin and the linagliptin so linagliptin use is also has been increasing nowadays uh, still uh, uh, very few doctors are using linagliptin most of uh, they use either uh, seta vilda or tenagliptin so that depends it's vary from patient to patient uh, it depends from uh, on their compliance also so i think uh, that's all about the dpp4 inhibitors you need to know thanks for uh, listening